Hey everybody, Jeff Reinhardt here, LL League News, and LL League football season. Still plugging along, four teams left, two district champs, two more teams going for district titles this weekend. Wow. First time since 2001 that uh, LL League um, had four teams, one in each class, playing for a district championship, single, double, triple, quad. So uh, that's a neat little fact. Columbia's already won in single, Catholics won in double, LS will play for the AAA title Friday, Wilson will play for the Quad A title on Saturday. Okay, quick hitters on the four games. Ready? Let's go. Quad A first, Wilson against Central Dolphin. Both teams 12-1, and one. Uh, district championship on the line. Wilson's 1-4, CD's 1-2. Saturday night, 6 o'clock, Hershey Park Stadium, I'll get you a live blog. 5.30 quarter of uh, 6 range. Keep an eye out for that post. Uh, CD, very good defense. 71 sacks. Wow. These teams kind of mirror each other defensively a little bit. Um, Wilson, of course, number one defense in the LL League, giving up just 177 yards a game. The CD uh, defensive stats are pretty scary. They have three kids with 12 sacks or more. Uh, Zaid Issa, who's also their best running back, 1,400 yards. He has a dozen sacks. Um, Evan Schwab's got 15 sacks. Nate Hamilton has 13 sacks. He's also blocked six kicks, <laughs> field goals, and punts. Uh, keep an eye on Zach uh, Wilk, big boy in the middle for CD. So good trench play. Um, kind of a game. Uh, two really good defenses, as mentioned. Uh, keep it on Ronnie Gillen. Read that he had a bit of a groin tweak last week in the semis against Cumberland Valley. Gutted it out, played, had 60 yards. Wilson forced three turnovers and beat Cumberland Valley 20-14 uh, to 14 to move on. So, fun, fun game. LL League Section 1 against Midpen. Wilson against CD. Both 12-1. and one. Two very good defenses. So, uh... That should be a fantastic game. Winner goes to the state semifinals next week. Wilson CD, Saturday night. Come check me live blog from Hershey. Okay, AAA, also a championship. District 3 AAA finals. LS, 12-1. Back-to-back Section 2 champ, LL League. Riding a nice little win streak. Takes on Bishop McDevitt. Hello, Crusaders, 11-2. Looking for their ninth District 3 championship. Only program in District 3 that has championships in three classes, quad, triple, and double. And this is my fun stat of the week. In District 3 AAA championship games over the years, Bishop McDevitt is 11-0. and uh, Crusaders have never lost a AAA playoff game, so that's pretty impressive. If they get to 12-0, and they'll be the champs uh, this week. Tons of fun stats for uh, McDevitt. Uh, Alec Werner, the quarterback, first-year starter. He's been amazing. 2,900 passing yards. Uh, needs 13 yards for the single-season record for McDevitt. Needs 60 yards, I want to say, for 3,000 this season. Two terrific wideouts in the flanks. Uh, Brian Lamell, 70 catches, 1,300-plus yards. Sean Seif, 61 catches, 800-plus yards. Three-headed backfield. Rashad Lawson, Andre Robinson, who is a freshman and is poised for a great career with McDevitt, and uh, Darnell Holland all have 500-plus rushing yards. They don't have a 1,000-yard kid, but those guys all share the ball. They're all fantastic. And keep an eye on this Robinson fella. Can't talk McDevitt without mentioning uh, Noah Spence. They're fantastic defensive end. Nine sacks. Major blue chipper. He will announce where he's going in January at the um, Under Armour All-American game down in Florida. So everybody wants him, Mr. Spence. Fabulous player, effortless, spins, gets in the backfield, plucks guys with one arm and rips them down. Great, great player. I've had a chance to see him a couple times here over the years, and he's dynamite. They have another D1 recruit defensively, Brock um, Brock Dean, the linebacker, is going to Maryland. So tons of playmakers for McDevitt. Tons of playmakers for LS. Shank and Groff, who has seven touchdowns here in the, in the postseason. Neff came up big last week against West York. Uh, Ray Lopez deep. Fun game here, and it's on turf. Rematch. McDevitt beat LS 40-10 to last year in the semifinals at LS on the grass. So this year it's on turf, uh, which, which should really spotlight LS's athletes 
We'll see how they do with that. Rematch, this time it's for the title. LS, Bishop McDevitt, Friday night, 7 o'clock, Hershey Park. LS going for title number two. McDevitt going for title number nine. I'll get you a live blog from that game Friday night. Uh, 630-645 range from Hershey. Okay, two state games. First up, Lancaster Catholic. Um, uh, double A champ from District 3, 13 and 0. Beat wide missing last week, 21 to 14. Fabulous game. Brandon Hollister gets the game winner with four minutes left. Catholic gets its third uh, district title in four years. Last one in Double A. They go to Triple A next year. Catholic plays Mount Carmel. Hello. Saturday high noon at Shimokin. Red Tornadoes District Four champs, 12 and one. Having a great season there back. These teams met in 06, 07, and 08. 6 and 7 were non leaguers, home and home. Catholic won both of those. 2008 was a state playoff game at Hershey. Catholic won that one 41 to 28. Kind of broken open there right before the half with a hook and lateral play. Remember that? Purvis was in on that somehow. I don't remember all the people that were in on that, but it was a great play. Hook and lateral worked. Catholic went on, scored 41 points, and beat Mount Carmel. Always fun names for Mount Carmel. The Cole Region kids trying to pronounce their names and type their names is always fun. Quarterback is Zach Wasalewski. Took over in week eight as the starter. He's been steady. Grinded out, grounded out team. A pair of 1,000-yard uh, rushers for Mount Carmel, just like Catholic. Clay and Hollister, both with 1,000. Myrick Lamb, 1,300-plus. And Cody Shustak went over 1,000 last week against Bloomsburg in the District 4 title game. Red Tornadoes won that one 28 zip. Bloomsburg's quarterback uh, got hurt, broke his ankle, and uh, Rankin, and he's going to Rutgers. So that was a big loss for Bloomsburg. Shustak's also probably their best defender. Linebacker, 109 tackles. My favorite Mount Carmel stat 40 4 0, 40 takeaways on defense. That's a big number. So uh, Mount Carmel turning teams over, cashing in on short fields. Uh, Trench play kind of a game, just like it was in 08. Uh, big boys in the middle, line of scrimmage. Whoever wins that area is probably going to win this game because both teams have athletes and playmakers. And there's going to be some points. So it could come down to the guys in the trenches. Keep an eye on that. Catholic Mount Carmel, Saturday at noon at Shimokin High School. Uh, get you a live blog, 11.30, 11.45 a.m. Uh, Saturday from Shimokin. Winner gets Penn Argel, which is undefeated, or Philly West Catholic. And you know uh, West Catholic's uh, uh, past with Lancaster Catholic. So interesting couple of weeks here in AA. Fun bracket. Catholic Mount Carmel. Okay, last one. Single A state game. Columbia. Roll Tide. 7-5. and five, District 3 champ. Takes on Penn's Manor with an S. They are the District 6 champ. First district title. First trip to states. Hershey Park, Saturday, high noon. Danny Ferens, keep an eye on him, Penn's Matters quarterback, multi-purpose, multi-threat, dual-threat kid, 1,800 rushing yards, 24 TD keepers, passed for nearly 600 yards and 11 more TDs. He's had an amazing season for Penn's Manor, which is a grinded out, keep it on the ground, wing T kind of a team. They average 285 rushing yards a game. There are tons of teams out there that don't even get 285 as a team every week, and they average 285 on the ground, Penn's Manor. So uh, good season for those guys. It's, it all sort of came together for them. They've been to the District 6 semis and finals here in the last couple of years, but they have some good seniors this season, put it together, won the district, beat Bellwood Annis 40-14 uh, to 14 in the final. They're from Clymer, PA, which is Indiana County, so long bus ride for Penn's Matter. They're going to come out to Hershey Park. They get Columbia, which beat Camp Hill 36-20 to 20 last week. Uh, keep an eye on Seth Lefevre, 118 yards uh, rushing. We'll make him a 1,000, 1,000 kid. He's well over 1,000 passing. Mike Burke has 75 catches. Columbia's gotten hot here at the right time, shutting out Millersburg and then beating Camp Hill pretty soundly in the finals last week. Interesting game. Uh, very interesting. Columbia, Penn's Mad.